Hello developers. Welcome to the next lecture of C programming. In this video, I will tell you different types of files in a C language. So there are five files in a sequence of a C program. The first file is .c file means if we make a program in C, then the program name extension is .c and .c file is in the English form as well as it contains numbers and special symbols. Now second file is .h file means it is a header file which is included in the .c file by preprocessor. If you don't understand what is preprocessor and where you will find .h file, then please give me another two minutes. I will make you understand. Third file is .obj file. It is an object file which will be the output of a compiler. Compiler which converts high level language to low level language. Now the fourth file is .exe file that is executive file which will give us the output and it is in a binary form, computer understandable form. Now the fifth file is .bak file means backup file of the C program that we are developing. Now I will discuss these files in a diagram. Generally we make a program from the scratch. Open a window, type a program written in C language and to save the program we use .c extension. Also, it will include .h file, which is on the top of the program. That is why it is called a header file. H means header, means top. And .h file is used by preprocessor to include the libraries in the program. Preprocessor is a utility that inserts the code of specified hash included headers into the program or libraries into the program. You don't have to learn full definition of a preprocessor because you are a beginner. Now after including the libraries in the program, we get a pure high level program. Then after this, we have to convert high level program into low level program. That is machine code in binary form. If you are in a problem, what is binary code and what is machine code, then please see my previous videos of C programming. So we need a compiler and for that we use GNU GCC compiler. Now its output is an object file, but it is not ready to run because there are some functions like printf and scanf that is not in the object file. It was present in the libraries we included, but it is not present in the object file. Then we have a loader, which loads the file from secondary storage to primary storage. And now the linker links the libraries and the program. In a program, you definitely use the function printf and scanf. 
So a function will take scanf, the libraries will get its meaning and definition through the linker. And it will be in their respected locations where you have placed. Now the machine code will run and then you will see the output in a pop-up window.